Hey guys, my name is Eve and I am the Mad Macro Scientist and I want to give you guys a brief lesson today on what are macros because I get so many questions about what are they, I'm interested in counting them, I'm interested in tracking them and I'm not quite sure what they are. But there are three macros and they're going to be proteins, carbs, and fats. And macros is short for macronutrients, meaning that the body does require these in larger amounts for essential body functions. And all of your macros, protein, carbs, and fats are always obtained through the diet because our body cannot produce macros on its own. So you have to eat them to actually acquire them. So protein, the most important macro. Um, to me and to most, you know, nutritionists, health coaches, and registered dietitian, um, proteins are large, complex molecules that play a major role in your body, and they're made up of thousands of smaller units called amino acids. If you guys have ever drank BCAs, branch chain amino acids, those are the little tiny subunits of protein, and then when you glue them all together, they actually make a longer strand, which is protein. And so those long chains are going to be your proteins and they do most of the work in our cells in our body and they're required for structure, for our function of different organs, cellular processes, regulation of our body's tissues and every single thing. Um, but the most important things that you guys may know it for is that Protein can help with anabolism, which is going to be muscle growth. It's going to help with increased strength. Um, it's going to help with maintaining whatever muscle you build or you have. And then the one that a lot of people love is that protein does help with fat loss because it has been proven to help you raise your metabolism by putting the muscle on. So consuming muscle, or sorry, consuming protein will help you to lose more weight and raise your metabolism. So carbohydrates, the one that some people are afraid of and we have this like love-hate relationship with. Um, carbohydrates are basically all the sugars, all the starches, all the fibers, and they're going to be in things like your fruits, your grains, your vegetables, and other food products. But the chemical structure of carbohydrates are going to be a carbon, um, hydrogen, and oxygen. And so carbohydrates are a calorie-based energy source. So that means that carbohydrates are full, even are, are fuel, even though we have this love-hate love relationship with them. But carbs are essential for our central nervous system, so aka everything um, that is connected and working with our brains, and then energy for our body. Carbs are going to totally influence your mood, your energy, and even your memory. So those of us that go really low carb or wait too long to eat, you may find yourself moody, irritable, hangry, and forgetful, and then, you know, feeling like you're not on top, and you may feel a little bit foggy, and like your blood sugar's low and you want to pass out because it actually is. But carbs are great because they do prevent our body from using protein as an energy source and enable fat metabolism. So if we don't eat carbs, our body actually has the ability to turn protein into sugar. So those people that are like, oh my God, I'm doing so awesome. I'm on a, I'm on a low carb diet. I'm eating only protein and fat or low fat, low, no carbs and high protein. If your body needs um, carbs because you're not eating them, it can convert protein that you eat into sugar, which is gluconeogenesis, or your body can then pull from the muscle that you have, that you love, that you want, and basically eat away at it, muscle wasting, and create sugar that way. So if you don't give yourself carbs, your body's going to figure out how to get those carbs anyway. Um, but your carbs are going to be broken down into two groups, simple carbs, complex carbs. Simple is just like it sounds, one to two sugars. Um, complex carbs are going to be three or more sugars. So complex carbs, slower to digest, keep you fuller longer. Simple carbs, think of like lemon heads, um, Think of a pixie stick, like it's just straight up sugar. It's going to get into your body right away. You're going to feel that boost of energy, and then your body's going to burn it up pretty quickly. Um, but complex carbs, 
carbs are also better with controlling blood glucose levels um, and helping prevent against heart disease and things like that. Um, but carbs are not the enemy. They get a bad rap all the time. It's only when we eat them in excess that they actually start to become problematic. Fats, the last macro, same thing. Fats can also get a bad rap, but they are also a fuel source just like carbs. So our body ref prefers to get fuel from two places, carbs and fats only. Your body does not want to break down protein and turn it into fuel unless you're starving it of the other two macros. Um, but fat is an energy source and it's required for cell growth, for organ protection, um, maintaining our body temperature, which is a huge thing. It sounds kind of minimal. You're like, I don't care about the fat on my body to keep me warm, but it's, it's important. And it also helps with the nutrient absorption of the micronutrients, vitamins, minerals that you actually want to get. But one of the biggies is, is it is responsible for hormone production. And so with hormone production, you want to be able to produce fat loss hormones. So those of us that go really, really low in fat may see stalls in weight because we're not eating enough fat to produce the weight loss hormones we need to actually lose weight. So eating fat can help you lose fat. So that's basically the take home on protein, carbs, and fats. I hope that helps you guys out a lot. But... Big news to let you guys in on if you haven't heard thus far. I am creating a new free guide based on macros and nutrition for people who want to learn how to track. They don't know if they want to track. They're intimidated by tracking macros. They really want to know how to do it in an easier way that doesn't feel restrictive. And so I am working on a secret project that's going to be unveiled soon. And I'm going to have some free live nutritional training. You guys are going to get a free guide that's going to be awesome, just like all of the other um, large, in color, really in depth, sciencey, um, but bringing you all the nutritional facts types of ebooks that I write. But it is going to be coming soon, so definitely make sure that you're on my wheat, my not my wheat list, my my wait list or my email list so you can get your hands on it because I guarantee you it's going to be a game changer, especially if you've never tracked your calories, macros, food intake, or anything. Or if you're wanting to come back to giving macros a try and you want to start to get a lot of consistency going again, I'm telling you guys, you're going to really want to get this.